and welcome to another Papa Smurf adventure. This adventure, motor repair, many hurdles. Come on an adventure with me. Here's the adventure, the Weed Eater 1. I bought this from my friend B years ago. It's been cutting the grass just fine, but lately, I think the blade's a little worn out after a few years of cutting. And it's hard to go in reverse. And there's areas I need to really back into. So, let's get some repairs done. Here's the main yard I mow. I have to have the riding mower because of my COPD. I cannot walk a mower, so I have to ride a mower. And it does a good job on this yard. It really does. Here's the other side I gotta mow. It's only two swipes of that riding mower, but still I have to ride it down the side and then go around the gas meters and get back here by the electrical box. And then I gotta back up out of there. When it won't go in reverse, I can't do that. That means I have to weed whack it. Oh, getting out there with the auction hose and the weed whacker, weed eater, whatever you want to call it. And Doing that by hand is just too much. <laughs> Here's the other area where I need reverse to work. Between the hedges and the house. I'm gonna back up in there and then go forward and cut that and then back up again and do another swipe. And it only takes two, two runs in there, but when it won't go reverse, that means I gotta do it by hand. And that's just too much. I know it doesn't look like much, but trying to back up in there and get that other area right behind the shed and stuff is really hard when it will not go in reverse. Yes, this picture is after the mower's been repaired and I was able to get back there and mow and this is after the new windows have been installed, but it's a tight fit when you're trying to back in there. Doesn't look like it, but it is. While I'm having the new transmission put in by my friend B, I might as well have him put a new blade on there and a new blade belt. That way there, I don't have to worry about anything. As you can see, <laughs> the four picture, yep, there's a lot of unevenness in there where the blade's just not cutting. Be nice to have a new blade on there. My friend B sent me this picture going, look, that belt for that blade is really loose. I'm glad you're replacing it. B first had to remove the motor off the mower. And that exposes that old transmission that the wheels are hooked to. Now that's got to come off. There it is, the old transmission with the wheels still attached. Now I'm going to have to take those tires off of that, put it on the new transmission, and then hook it all back up together. Here it is, with a new transmission, new blade, and new belt. I know it's hard to tell any difference, but there's some bright and shiny new bolts on there. Time to take her out and give her a go. Let's go. <laughs> I got almost all the yard mode. I was back there by that stop sign and the telephone deal there, getting ready to go behind the shed. And uh, it just quit running. B came over and we tried to get it started and it wouldn't even give a spark. So it has to be a safety switch in there somewhere. So he pushed it over here for me and I'll order some parts. Going through the manual, I'm looking for anything that's hooked to anything that can be the problem. And that part number eight, I need to get that replaced because it's really loose on the steering. It's a bracket that helps hold the steering. And they don't make it anymore. 
so B's gonna see if his buddy can weld it for me. Now I had ordered part number 17 and part number 18. Well, part number 18 came real quick and easy. And I waited and waited for part number 17 just to find out they don't make it anymore. Well, that part's not broken on my mower, but B said I needed part number 10. No, well, I ordered that. Didn't come, didn't come. Come to find out, they don't make that anymore either. <sighs> that's what happens when you have a mower that's obsolete. Researching on why the mower won't start. Here are five reasons it might not start. It could be the ignition switch. It could be the inner lock switch. I had the keychain. Battery. Or the other inner lock clutch switch. Well, I ordered the ignition switch, which I really don't need, but hey, if parts are obsolete anymore, if they have it, I'm out to order it now. The interlock switch, I ordered that. And I ordered the interlock clutch switch. Now the new transmission cost me $650. The new blade was forty something dollars. The new belt was $17 or something. Of course, I went with the cheap one because the OEM was like $53. And uh, here's these other three parts I ordered. Total $52.60. Well, it's cheaper than a new mower. They're over $3,000. While I was waiting for the parts to arrive, I thought, self, it's getting hard with the portable concentrator because I would strap that to the between the steering and me and use that but then all the dust and dirt would get in it and clog it so bad and then it would hardly run and I'm to the point now I need straight constant oxygen well I have little tanks for that but how am I going to use them well I came up with this way of taking one of my old tank holders that had wheels on it and uh, hooked it to the mower I just made a little clip here so that it won't pop out when the tank is in place. I just pull out that double-sided pin right there and then pop it forward and put the tank in or pull it out or whatever it needs to be done. And I was racking my brain trying to figure out how to hook this thing to this and make sure it's got enough areas to hold it together. I was going to make it so it was totally removable each time, but I thought, why do that? I <laughs> got another holder. I don't need this one. As you can see, I take that clip off and I can pull it forward and just drop the tank down in there and pick it back out if I need to. After I drop the tank in there, I can take that little knob on the side and tighten down the tank so it doesn't rattle. And then put that back in place, put the clip on there, and we're ready to go. Yes, remember, buying cheap is not always good. Now, I got the parts in. I replaced just one safety switch, and that was the one for the uh, blade on the side. And I was mowing the yard, and it quit mowing. And the motor was running, it would, it would drive it, but the blade wouldn't turn. Oh, great, what now? And looking at it, that brand new belt, this cheap one, yeah, it's shredded. Had to get a new one. This time, instead of spending the $53, I shopped around and got it for $34. Same belt. My friend B was going to install it for me, but then he pulled his shoulder at work and couldn't do it. Well, I needed to get it done. So I broke out the instructions and said, we're going to try and do this ourselves. <clears throat> we tried to get the belt out, and I got it all the way to the back to pull it out. Like it said, it wouldn't come out. I called it B. I said, B, how do I get this out? He goes, I don't know. So he goes, if you figure it out, let me know. And I said, okay. So I hung up, and there's a bar out that hangs out the back. I leaned on that to help get me up off the ground, and that moved that transmission enough to belt this fell right out. I laughed. 
I called B up and said, here's a good laugh for you. So I figured how to get the belt out. So now I can put the new belt in. Got that in, got it all put back together. And, oh, it works like a dream. Now that the mower was running, it was uh, six o'clock at night. I said, you know what? I'm not gonna stop now. I'm gonna mow this yard and get it done. And that's just what I did. I put everything away and I hooked the oxygen tank up to it and got on it. And I went out there and I mowed that yard. I was tired, but I got it done. Yeah, I forgot to tell you the first time after B fixed the mower and I started up and went to mow the yard, it wasn't cutting for anything. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with a brand new blade. Yeah, put the blade on upside down. <laughs> had him come over and he fixed that. But anyways, here's the yard after I mowed it. And it looks great. That new blade's doing good. It's riding good. The steering is still a little bit of a problem, but I can get through that. Well, now, if you learned anything from this adventure, hopefully you learned you don't buy cheap. Got a $17 belt. Cost me some headaches. I mean, sure, I got it for 34 but add the 17 I'm back up almost to where the original belt would have been. Ah, I hope you all had fun on this adventure. It's been a long time doing it, but it's done, and it works great, and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, love you all. Bye.